So hi again, friends. Um, it's been a while since I did any um any demonstration with the pipe cleaner curls, or even tried to do the style because I was in exam mode. Exams for me has had finished this very week, so I decided um after visiting the beach and doing all kinds of other things to relax, I would wash my hair and show you a proper demonstration as to how I do the pipe cleaner curls or at least install the pipe cleaners in my hair so I'm going to do this time a side swept version of the one that I did the first time um, I will not tape the whole thing I'll try to edit it as best as I could and I am also I the hair has just been washed so it's, it's kind of damp well not kind of damp it's damp the, the bottom here all well, the roots are fairly dry so I'm gonna have to spray them to do it um, what I put in my hair simple um, some some of this lot of body I don't know if you all can see that it looks a little bit back to front but that's all right um, lot of body curl and style milk just a little bit rub it up and put it on the roots while my hair was damp and then over that I put some grapeseed oil to seal in some of the moisture so I will just do a few just to show you how I do them and how I, how I install and keep them and then when I'm done I will show you the entire look for you to see what it looks like alright so here's my first one I am styling well at least the hair with the lot of body wrap me foaming mousse this and a little of my design essentials uh, design essentials twist and set setting lotion natural twist and set setting lotion this all right so i'm going to just use a little bit of each one to retwist twist first make sure I get it in pretty okay there at least most of it I don't twist too hard because I'm a little fearful of breakage um, breakage of the little hairs there it's kind of sensitive so I don't want to lose the hair there so and I wrap it around like this make sure it gets the whole thing Right, and I'm gonna secure the end of it with a rubber band. Right. All right. So I think we got that one there. I'll just do one on this side here to show you because I'm doing it as a side sweep rather than the middle as I had it the first time when I did the first video. Alright, so a little of this. A little of this. Twist. Oops.
All right. Sure. All right. So I have these two here now. Right. Make sure I trust it down. Let's stay on this side. Um, I'll fix it as I go along. Fix them as I go along to get the desired style that I want. Uh, I'm going to continue doing these. It's going to take me a little while to do it. So I'm not going to film that part. I'm just showing you how I did it, and I will show you in between bits and pieces, like when I get to certain sections of the hair, like the back and the middle, and so to show you how I'm twisting them. But it's basically the same principle, right? You take these, you take these pipeliner curlers that I would have made and I showed you how to do these before. You can do them in any color you want. I choose to do them in brown or black because they're close they're close enough to my hair. Color. Right? So when we do this we use these. So I showed you a demonstration with two of them. I'll probably show you a couple more as I go along the way and then I will show you the finished product when we're done. Alright? Alright so I've spent about 20 to 30 minutes doing just this part of my head so I have about maybe about 60% of the of the locks still to do so you're getting an idea of what the style is going to look like at least um, when I'm done right so this is just part of the way through maybe about 30% 30 35% of the way through and I have a little bit more again to go these all of these I have to get done still right so it's retwisting and installing pipe cleaners all right so i'm um, almost done i just have these here to do that will be going on this side so you should get a better a good idea as to how this is going to work out right so i just stopped yeah, that's a nice big patch of hair there <laughs> yeah so i just stopped for you to get an idea of how far I've progressed. I'm taking pretty long because I'm a little bit tired. So, um, hopefully within the next 15-20 minutes I should be done with these and you'll get to see the entire look. Alright, so I am finished installing. Slightly different to when you saw the style I had the first time. It is not staying the way that I would like it to stay but it can work i really wanted this to be on the side here but it's not doing that so i'll just kind of let it fall where it wants to fall as long as it stays neat enough i am not promising to keep it for 14 days like i did the last set that i last time that i installed them uh probably would keep it until it's dry maybe a couple days two or three days max um just until it dries and then i'll take them down because i i want to enjoy my vacation a little bit and at least a little free time that i have before i start internship so this is the style that i'm going to rock at least in the next day or two um this is what it looks like from the front uh this is my left side here hoping you can see that this is my right side and this is the back all right So now for the list of things that I would have used in my hair to begin with, I washed it. Um, there is a shampoo from a local distributor that I use. The name of it is Skin Love. This is it here. I have an older, I have one in the bathroom. So this is the new one that I bought recently. It's from a local a Trinidadian. I can't remember her name right now. But if I find it, I'll probably put it in the description box below. So you can see. I get this. I usually purchase this at Body Beautiful on the Avenue. On Arapita Avenue in Port of Spain. Woodbrook, Port of Spain. It's Port of Spain, right? So this is what I use to wash my hair. Sometimes I may condition it. Sometimes I won't. Um, I didn't condition it this time, so it's just this I used for washing. Um, when I was finished with the washing, I would have used this Lotta Body um, Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk. Um, this is a real hot commodity in Trinidad right now, apparently. It is, it's used, I, I can use it. I, I don't use too much because... Um, coconut is protein and somehow my hair gets a little bit dry and, and crispy kind of thing when it's when I use too much of it So I just use a little bit of this in my wet hair Particularly down at the roots where I want to get twisted, right? And then I seal with 
believe it or not, grapeseed oil. So I would have, as my hair was still wet, take a little bit and rub it through the palm of my hand and then pass it through, you know, basically coat my locks with it so that it will retain some moisture. For twisting, I use the Lotta Body Coconut Shea and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse at the base or at my roots. And then this Design Essentials Natural Twist and Set Setting Lotion, right? This I got at Body Beautiful. These I would have gotten at Super Farm, but I believe now they're available at Pennywise, so you can check there to see if you find them, right? And to finish, well, I always use this is my spray bottle, what I'm using as normal water right now. It's not the product that you see here, it's really just water. So I have a spray bottle of water as I'm working with the hair for, it, for me to keep maintain the dampness. And to finish, I use this Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal System Hair and Scalp Serum that I also got at um, Body Beautiful on the Avenue. I just, when I finish, I just take a little and put in my roots throughout on my scalp to keep my scalp moisturized you can make your own mix you can purchase this or you can find anything that you feel that you can use in your um, scalp on your scalp to keep the scalp moisturized i use this to finish it off F so for me what i'm probably going to do is i'm probably going to get some hairpins and secure you know probably pin the hair in place pin the the, the spirals in place so that they don't go floating all over the place and keep it that way until my hair dries and then I will take it down and of course when I take it down I'll probably do a little a short or quick vid video for you to see what it looks like when I take it down but you have pretty much seen what my hair looks like already when I take down the pipe cleaner curls it will just be shifted to one side this time alright so thank you for watching and have a blessed day